Hello everyone and welcome to Sport Talks with Barney. Please subscribe for more updates. Former president of Nigeria Football Federation NFF, Amar Jupinik, has revealed his likeness for foreign coach for the Super Eagles. The team is currently without a coach, following the resignation of Fenidi George after poor performances in the World Cup qualifiers. Fenidi failed to win any of his first two games. The team cleared out a disappointing 1-1 draw against South Africa in Uyo before losing to Benin Republic 2-1 in Ivory Coast. As a result of the poor result, Nigeria currently occupies the fifth position in Group C with 3 points from 4 matches. The NFF led by Ibrahim Gusau are yet to appoint a replacement for Fenidi George. Phoenix has advised his successor to employ a foreign coach for the Super Eagles. The likes of Abel Renard, Steve McLaren, Dominic Torrent, and Anthony Cossessao have all been linked with the Vika Super Eagles coaching job. The football administrator has cited a lack of respect from the Super Eagles players towards an indigenous coach as the reason for his preference for a foreign coach. While speaking on Arise TV, Phoenix admitted that Nigeria coaches are technically sound, but managing players have gone beyond that level. Phoenix said, Yes, Nigeria coaches have the requisite knowledge and the technical ability, but modern football is beyond that in managing players. We, the national team players, respect the coach. The sad thing is that they don't. One of these is the recent incident between Finidi George and Victor Sime. Pini gave a thought on the issue. He said, Let me do it on Rosime case. It was quite unfortunate. That one thing was so unfortunate. He continued, I put a call through Rosime. I made him understand that I didn't like what he did. He spoke to me with remorse, and I told him to channel his remorse to the appropriate quarters. The CAF and FIFA board member bragged about the player's exploit during the 2015 under 17 World Cup, which was his first trophy as the Federation president. I don't know what went wrong. It was just a moment of madness, so to speak. But that is not Rosime that I know. Rosime comes to me as a very humble boy. I don't know others and we have maintained that relationship. Pinnick appointed Ugana Troll as the coach of the Super Eagles and ran the one drum for the Super Falcons when he was at the helm of affairs as the president of the Nigeria Football Federation. The 53-year-old also highlighted infrastructural deficiency, hindering the growth and marketability of football in Nigeria, pointing out that basic amenities like functional stadium facilities are often lacking. He said, we have serious infrastructural deficits. For instance, you don't want to go to the stadium and want to use the toilet and you can't. If you go to Morocco today, it's like plug and play because they have everything. England today can host the World Cup. The problem we have in Nigeria is not about facilities, it is about maintenance, he said. The Super Eagles will be back in action in September against Benin Republic and Rwanda in the qualifiers for the 2025 World Cup of Nations.